are now tuned in. Let's go to the Queen of the Trap podcast. Class and session, bitches. a very special guest with me today sway let's go let's go Hold on. long island artist let's just talk about that first long island big long island in the big building long island in the building you know what's we going on it's your boy rtm right sway now. man all right yes rtm sway what's going on how are you today it's good k dev you know we we outside we're here, we're here. We, about to, you know, we about to have real fun today on this podcast i am so happy to have you on the show thank you i'm happy to be here absolutely absolutely so i mean i already just told them you're from long island but who are you where do you come from on long island how old are you well i'm i'm sway I come from Central Iceland, you know, that's the hometown. Okay, 11722, you feel me? Rapping. And you feel me? What's your other question? Um, how old are you? He young, okay? He I'm young. a youngin. He you young. feel me? I'm 19. <laughs> yeah. I'm 19. My birthday coming up, though. Okay. My birthday coming up, save the date, December 15th. All right. That's a fact. So you're a Long Island artist. You're young. Um... What was life like growing up on Long Island for you? Like, um, did you go to high school? Did you finish high school? Did you play any sports? Live with mom and dad? Yeah, I finished high school. I graduated. I, I didn't go to college. Okay. I, I would. I ain't gonna lie. If I wasn't making music though, I wouldn't play in football. Probably in college. That's nice. Why I, that's why I played in high school football and basketball. Okay. Yeah, nice. I, I live with my parents too. I, I, live, I didn't. Good what career. um? What position did you play in football? Running back. Okay, that was yeah, your favorite? Yeah, running back. I played running back and linebacker on defense. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. I was I was nice, too. You know? I, mean, I was nice. Uh, <laughs> okay. so, you know what? Never say never, though. That might be able to still happen, but, you know. I got injured, though, so I couldn't. That's, oh, okay. you know what I mean? that's why I stopped playing. That was actually going to be my next question. Um because I saw that you were in an accident or something, an ATV accident. You want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah. I was in an ATV accident in, in Miami. Oh, shit. Facts. I was in a hospital out there. It was mad. Just phony stuff going on out there. Crazy stuff going on. Yeah. People was doing weird stuff at the B&B when I was in the hospital. Oh, no. But I was driving through, like, tracks. It was, like, a little track. We was driving for, like, an hour. Yeah. And then it got dark, and it was like a five foot like hill in the middle of the track, but yeah. I couldn't see it until I got close. And when I got real close, I couldn't swerve it. I just went right up it, and I uh. woke up in the ambulance. Facts. I woke up. Oh, <laughs> that's like the worst. Like yeah, you don't I even have, know where you are. You're waking up like what the fuck. All my skin was going off my leg. My hip was like so mad big. Oh I was, my god. I was hurting oh for like god. weeks. Yeah, I had I, like it's on my IG like the scars. It's all on my IG. I posted it to with the background. How long ago did this happen? Probably like, like a little, like about a year ago. A little, yeah. Oh, so this was like still fresh yeah, and it new. Wasn't, it wasn't that. I still got scars. You feel me? I, the scars are still there. The pain. I still. I still going through pain. <laughs> What what's that uh uh Papa Roach? The scars remind me that the past is real, you know. For real, you know what I'm saying? Because look at where you're at right now. For real. God bless, man. Every time I look at that scar, I just be like, damn, I came a long way. Like that was a long. I was in a bad place at that time because I couldn't really move around. I couldn't make music. Yeah, really what like. was it like? You know, being injured and not being able to. It was terrible. Like I lost mad weight. Like, I just, I couldn't work out. Makes you depressed. Yeah, and like, I just felt mad down. But that's why I made I'm Here, though. My, my I was going to ask you, um, you know, what initially got you into it? Like, what was your inspiration to start making music? Um, Definitely Lil Baby. Lil Baby. Okay. And well, I was going to ask what your favorite. So you're you're getting a little ahead. Oh, oh, oh. But, oh. But one no, one I, one like one what? What made you? Like what inspired me? Yeah, like what made you pick up a pen and be like, okay, I want to start writing. I want to be a rapper. I would say the people 
the people that I, I grew up with okay. and definitely my family, like my mom, my sister, because they, my mom can sing. Like, oh, really? Like, yeah. So you came from a music background. Yeah, and my, my sister can sing too. Like, okay. Really, really good. So, and I was always the young kid around all the older people. So yep. a lot of older people around me was making music. So when I heard their, their music, I was just like, yo, I could do this too. I could and I'm do like, this. And I've been making music since I was like 12. So. I was going to ask, yeah, how old were you when you first started making yeah, music? Yeah, I was like 12. I mean, mm. like, I started really playing around with like, sounds and trying to like write stuff down and then i got in the studio by like when i was turning 13 with mm-hmm. my boy scholar shout out my producer hey, scholar you know I mean? shout out to them since i was 12 i ain't i don't go nowhere else so um as far as like your adolescent years which is like middle school high school what were some artists like on your playlist like who did you grow up listening to um like younger years I wouldn't say now, but like. Like high school. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. You're still young. Huh? <laughs> God. Stop, kid. It's okay. <laughs> Stay nah. young forever. I'm telling you. Nah, no, no, no. Real. That's some real shit. I love Stay my young life. forever. Don't get wrapped up into growing up early because it sucks. Nah, but definitely um, Lil Baby, Dirk, Meek. Okay. Gunna, like I was listening to, like those are my genre, and a lot of singers too, Chris Brown. Okay. Um, Bryson Tiller. That's oh the, yeah, like, I like his music too. Um, Tory Lanez, like I was listening to a lot of those at a young he age. He just dropped an album yeah. recently. Yeah. Um, free, free Tory Lanez, you feel me? Free Tory Lanez. Uh, free, I'm ha- I'm halfway. Stop. Uh, Stop. I'm I need some more music out of him. <laughs> uh, bro, he going you crazy. never know. You never know. Nah, word. He be going crazy, but yeah, that's. I was, cause my genre of music, like the way I like to give my music off to people, like I like to sing sometimes, I like to rap sometimes. So I you're like diverse. To, yeah, like I like to switch it up. So I, that's why I listen to a lot of different artists, like okay, the singers, rappers. That's I mean, honestly. Hey, I might even get it, get into rock, you know. Dude, that's that's gonna. But let me just tell you, that's gonna take you very far in this industry because if you just box yourself into one thing, you're gonna be stuck. You're gonna be stuck. So you wanna branch out. You wanna be able to tap in with the singing, tap in with the rock music. What is it? Megan The Stallion just put out that song Cobra. She did it to a rock song. Who would who would have ever thought Megan The Stallion would do so? So like yeah, that's that I'm that's saying. gonna that's gonna make you stand yeah, out different. and that's gonna make you diverse. So yeah. definitely d- go for all of that shit, man. If you think you can do it, do it. Nah, yeah. No, definitely. Now, so you're from Long Island, and we are honestly, we are very, very, very talented out here. So much, talent. so much talent. But the problem is, is that we were slept on for so long, and it's very hard for Long Island to come up unless, uh, yeah. unless you're shaking hands in the city, unless you are tapping in with other people. As far as podcasts and, you know, other artists, like you and I, we just went to Pass the Aux, Mm -hmm. which is like a great networking um, showcase. Um, It's open to all artists, all DJs, all stuff like that. Um, You know, right now we're trying to get you on all of the Long Island podcasts out here. You've been on a couple of podcasts already. We outside. I saw you on the Coco show. I saw you on uh, the Coco. What's the other one? Uh, The Long Island one. That's a fact. Um, But as far as like the Long Island music scene, like who are some people that um you fuck with out here and like people you would want to work with or who you you know um see around you that Um, you're like okay they make nice music i might want to work with them um i would say definitely i want to work with people from the town ci definitely like there's a lot of there's a lot of talent heard passport was one of the people you wanted to work with yeah passport there's a lot of talent in ci Passport, me and me and him gonna soon connect. You feel me? Um, we can make that happen. A queen, a queen Lee's like. Okay. There's a lot of artists in CI. Like name them. I want to hear. Because you, like, you know you're on a big podcast. You're gonna you're also uh, putting yeah. out some of your people's names. So yeah, my son, um, my son Binko Jet. 
I started making music with him for real, like when I was young. You okay. Know, he, we was making music together at a certain point, but he stopped. He went to school, but he 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 was you feel me? He was nice. Um, my son uh, Patek, YSL Patek. He been okay. making music for a long time. He got a nice like a nice sound. It's just a different sound. Like he he get on some melodic drill. Like he just got a little different sound in him. So I, I fuck with him heavy too. But yeah, definitely um, the passports, the um, um, King PIBs. I want to just tune in with people like that, and just you know make some make some crazy shit. Go Absolutely. Crazy. You know, you know what we doing, man. We run into the money on yeah. I'm we d- honestly we're very talented, the, but one of the biggest problems in Long Island is there's a lot of animosity. There's a lot of hating on Long Island there's uh, I'm, uh, we see it all the time I really feel like if people work together and we put our egos aside and really just like teamwork makes the dream work so I'd really like to see more people on Long Island working together and I think that's what's really gonna take for us to keep going but like you know we're we're already doing it we're all working together we're all sharing the music we're doing the podcast shows and everything it just gotta get a little stronger it's, it, it does it. If we get that, if we just get the, the everybody to combine, the yeah, yeah. And like, and that's really what I'm on right now. Like, I'm I'm trying to just you know show love to everybody. Absolutely, I want everybody to know like yo, you could come over here and work with me. Like, yeah, especially from Long Island, I want us to know we could come to other artists and say yo, because that's what it's really like. Okay, everybody want to you know choose their own way, go their own yes. way. Yes. Absolutely. And and it's hard because it's like you might want to work with somebody and they just got their ego going on because they think that like, oh, I don't want to work with you or like, you know, something. I don't know. But I see it all. I haven't really noticed it until this year like i never paid attention to the politics behind it like i always support it if you support me i support you that's 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 how i am it's so crazy because long island is so like spaced out it's so crazy that there's so much like yeah tension everywhere you feel me like i see why like okay this like in the other in the boroughs in the city like people be having problems because they all so close yeah what would you say our biggest problems are as far as like Long Island. Um, I feel like everybody just feel like I like just me personally. I just feel like artists, c- certain artists, feel like they can't work with other artists. Mm-hmm. Just over like little petty stuff. Over, it just be yep. petty, you feel me? Like and people just don't want to show love to certain like stuff. Like I feel like it should just be more of a. If it was more of a group thing and everybody, yep. you know, like just working together, showing love to each other. We will, we will all like we will put yeah. Long Island back on the map. You feel me? Like they sleep, they sleep. Like you feel me? They been sleep. And they they, they pay they, attention. They pay attention, but but like, they won't support. You feel and me? That, and DJ I just want to wake them up. Yes, absolutely. DJ Tone up. and I had this conversation actually a couple of weeks ago, and we were saying like we're the people that we will support the people on Long Island. Like we have no problem tapping in with other people, but. When it comes to us, people don't do that yeah. for us. And it's Same hard. Man. And it's like, we have to be the ones to break that barrier. Because if we really all worked together, we could be we, fucking yeah. killing it out here. We have all the resources. We know. have all the connections. It's just putting our brains together and acting like adults and getting shit yeah, done. Because there's the so day, much You got to stand on business, Dev. You have to stand on business at the end of the day. Yep. It's, it's the business. Like, if you really want to win, you got to stand on business. No, absolutely. Um, so we talked about the people that you want to work with on Long Island. Um, have you record a side? We shout out to Sink or Swim Studios because we are at Sink or Swim Studios. Shout out to Sink or Swim Studios. Let's go. Yeah. But is there any other studios or like engineers on Long Island that you've worked at? Like, um, do you do you tap in with any of the Long Island studios? Um, um, Studio 61. I don't know okay. If you know what that is. That's where I first started my podcast. For career. Real? It used to be called Audio Workstations, but they redid the whole entire thing. That's crazy. That was where my first part. Pro- yeah. yeah that's so you were over started. there? Yeah, that's where I first really started recording. Okay, for, nice. Yeah. But now, I really like, when I went there, I met my producer. Okay. And ever since is then, me and him been like locked in. Now, his name is um, Dylan Schuyler. I don't know if I know. 
I might um, Ever since then Me and him been like Just like this Like locked in But like I'm Matt always Tappen, open By the way I'm always open to work with any producers Any Absolutely. studios Want me to pull up You feel me Show love any artists willing to work for me? I want to work. Hit me, like hit me up, bro. I'm. I want to bring us together. Dude, I want to work with artists. We gonna get you to work. There's. Yeah. I be in that studio all the time, so we're gonna get you over there and work with a lot more people. I'm gonna introduce you to Matt too. Matt, shout out to Matt. Um, I was actually over there last week, so um, they are a great studio. How about Social Media House? Are you over there at all? Um, that's in Bayshore, right? Uh, yes. That's why I um, recorded. Sure. That's why I recorded different with Rowdy. Oh, so that was gonna. That's actually one of my questions. Yeah. I was gonna ask because we're gonna get to that part of things. And the mu- you have some numbers. Your music is out there, yeah. um, and so the people go crazy for it. But we're gonna get <laughs> to that part. Um, have you done any Long Island showcases or anything like that? Um. Yeah, I just did a. I just did a showcase out here the other day. It was um, it was a like it was like a rap like a rap radar like like the like Long Island rap radar. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I was on there. They interviewed me as well with um, Braxton. What's his? Na- oh, I forgot his first name. Yes, I was on that podcast too. Yeah. Then. Okay. I so you've been on a couple podcasts already. Oh yeah. And yeah. I've been outside working in working. some studios. All right. I've been working. I'm trying to tell you, that's all I'm doing. Like I'm. This is all I want. Like this music is is my is me. It's my life. Dude, all I want to do is win. There's so like that's why I was asking because there's so many studios out here. There's so many resources for people on Long Island. A lot of people don't know about these things. Like, and the only way they're gonna find out is yeah. word of mouth or watching our podcasts yeah. and our interviews. Not even that. Dev. People gotta get outside and network. That Dev. too. You gotta. They gotta put the groundwork. You in. You can't Dev. just sit behind the fucking computer. All it's day. not gonna. Nothing's gonna come to you. I I learned that quick. Like none of this. You feel me? It's it don't come to you without you putting the work in. Mm. You feel me? You gotta get out there and do what you called gotta do. Called street work. Yeah. It is called street work. Talk and I people. learned that. I learned that at a young age, and that's why. And I, we were talking about this before we started this, but. Even if it's not money related, if even if I'm not making a dollar, I'll still pull up to these events because that's me um, showing my face, shaking hands with people. That's what's going to lead to more business because, oh, OK, I remember seeing you here. Oh, I remember you. Yeah. Boom. Can I get you on a pod? Can I get you on a track? <laughs> Can I do this? You know what I mean? So yeah. it takes you actually being outside, shaking hands. You know, just putting yourself out there, your brand, your business, and I, you, you're outside. I've seen you been outside. Yeah, you, you Ooh, be in the same spot sometimes. Shit, <laughs> da, I was just gonna say that day before we booked this Bruh. podcast. Um, we well, we were day before we saw each other. We booked the podcast, and then I was like. I got a text message from your management and was like, oh, um, we could do the podcast this day. And I'm like, I'll text you guys back later. I have to go to this event. <laughs> Didn't even tell them what event I was pulling up to. And then we're all in the elevator together. <laughs> have the video and shit. Um, but hold on. Coco wanted me to ask you about that day. Shout out to the Coco show. So uh, he got... An, Long story short, I drove, he asked me for a ride to go to this event. We were all at a Long Island celebrity charity basketball game, and this kid started a whole bunch of shit for jumping the barricades. They wanted to kick him out. And in that video, he like went like that to you. What was that about? Like, what was he, what what was that situation? Like, what was about to happen? No, nah, that's not even. <laughs> <'Cause> like, <laughs> well, that's what I saw in the video. No, nah, that's not even like. All right, so basically, he was mad. Coco was mad about some. Some happened when he was in a spot. Somebody got him mad. I don't know what happened because I wasn't even down there yet where he was at. So okay. he came upstairs just on hots. Like you feel me? Yeah. He was mad, but like he wasn't on hots or nothing with me. Like it wasn't no issue with me or Coco. Me and Coco, that's bro. You feel me? Mad love for bro. He said the he same thing. Love. Yeah, we got no problem. My mo- my mother, you feel me? Yeah. She was she was standing in the middle of that situation. Your and mom and my mom. Yeah. Hello, my mom was like, "Isn't that the man who just got in the car with us?" And I was like, "No." 
No, I don't know who that is. Nah, yeah, my <laughs> mom like pushed up in the middle of the situation. And she was standing in the middle of it, and Coco wasn't paying attention, obviously, but he he was coming swinging around, like swinging his arms. So I had to just yeah, I, mean, I had to let him know, like yo, bro, like mm-hmm. like, like mm-hmm. just make sure you like. Mm-hmm. He was like, nah, I know. You just tell me that. Nah, I I understand. That's that was really it. He was saying I understand when when I when I woke up like that. Yeah. It wasn't nothing like you no know, crazy. Conversation and I mean, no, yeah, okay, good. That's bro, yeah, he me. said the same thing about you. Yeah, I, he just told me to bring it up, and I was like, because it, it did look like I was like, nah, yeah, what I, was he about to I do? Coco, Abby, yeah, no, nah, Coco's good people. Yeah. Um, we all run our podcast out of the same fucking place, by the way. Shout out to Sinker Slam Studios again, but hey. Like I said, Long Island, teamwork makes the dream work. We all work together. We all get shit done. Um, Now, um, living on Long Island, coming up, being a public figure, we already talked about the difficulties. What is, like, the most rewarding part for you of being an artist and, like, um, in your own city? Is there, like, any rewarding parts to this? I mean, like... Like, you have a lot of people that show you love. Like, nah, you got nah, a nah. whole crew behind you, man. Yeah, I would say that, in my eyes, for you, that's the most rewarding, is having those people back you. That's what, that's, that's the best feeling to me, you feel me? Like, just having my home team, that's like, that's like a backbone for me. Yeah. They always show love. They always come when I need them, you feel me? They always there when I need them. And my team, too. Like, my team, they always, my team is really, like, Solid. my strength. You We're going to talk about your team so next, too. Definitely my home team. And just Long Island, period. Everybody that showed me love and support yeah. me, you know, like, they don't know how much that means to me. But, like, it means so much because I'll be working. You feel yeah. me? Like, I've been outside working hard. I've been trying to win. I've been it trying to get to the top. You, you feel that. me? And and I, yeah, I know, I know my hard work gonna pay off. It's gonna, it's gonna come. You feel me? It's, it's starting to, cause yeah. you got a good team. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. But one thing I didn't get to is how did you come up with your name and what does the RTM stand for? RTM is run to the money. You heard? Like you see what's going no, on. I was just gonna say that. It's you on. You see, that we run into the money. The merch is coming soon. You feel me? I gotta get you some merch, oh, kid. Shit! <laughs> I was supposed to bring you guys merch today. Am I wrong? Uh, All right, next time. Nah, you heard you. my heart. No, nah, I got you. Next I told you. I told you too. I, I needed that. I know. I got right. you. I know you got me. But now, yeah, RTM run to the money. You know that's that's it's a brand. It's a movement. You feel me? Like. It's, it's we run into the money all year. Like, we trying to go up. We need it all, all mm-hmm. the money. And Sway, Sway with two Ys, you feel me? So with two Ys, not one Y. But I came up with that name. I was, first, my name was Mr. Liddy. Like, I was young, young kid. I was dancing. I was going crazy. Yeah. I was, yeah. <laughs> Still get involved with the dance. TikTok sort of thing now. Nah, I'd be on TikTok okay, now. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah I'd definitely be on TikTok. But yeah, I was I was a little that little kid with big head, you feel me, just dancing all the time. And they everybody used to call me Mr. Liddy. But then as I got older and I knew I wanted to make music, yeah. I was like, yo, I gotta have like I just like, I gotta get a name. Like I don't know, Mr. Liddy's not it no more. Nah, I mean, you feel me? Like it. yeah, like but when I'm, you get older, <laughs> nah, like, yeah, like, like it was a little, it was a little. I I didn't care because I was a kid. I was young. Yeah. And it was a little yes, but I got older and I grew out of that real quick. Yeah, I'm like, like I gotta nah, <laughs> nah, rebrand, rebuild. Yeah. And we were just talking about that too. For real. So I was on Snapchat one day. Actually, it was Snapchat, and I was trying to figure out my Snapchat name, like to make a Snapchat. <laughs> That was this is why fr- things will help you. <laughs> yeah, bro, this is the first time I like downloaded Snap. I'm like, yo, like, I don't know what to do. So I'm just thinking of different names. And then I'm clicking through videos and I just seen I seen the word sway on a video, but it wasn't like how it was just sway with one Y. It was just sway and I'm like Nah, that shit hard. <laughs> yeah, that's hard. But I got put two. Like, and it was a brand or something. It was like a little brand, and it just said like, I was like, yo, I'm like, all right, but like, I like, you know what? I like that. Sway, like that. Sway. I'm Jack and Sway. Like, sway, that's me. You feel me? And then everybody around me was calling me Sway. Sway. Yo, like <laughs> stuck. Yeah, it just got stuck there. Like, but that name, just know when you hear that name. 
that boy running to the uh-huh. money and he's you feel me he's doing the right things so. that's a fact and and uh, this is what we're gonna get into this now um you have love and hip-hop pressure backing you yeah um that is your he's a part of your team and everything like that um that's how i actually met even with you being from long island that's how i got introduced to you and i found out about you because shout out to pressure he's like i'm on your ass like (laughs) you need to interview my artist and i actually wanted to interview one of his female artists first and then i was like oh no i need to interview you too because (laughs) i've seen you around you're really outside you're really putting in the work so i was like let's get this going let's do it so how did you meet him how did you get in contact how did that happen um, Fresher, shout out, shout out, bro. First, oh, I first say of it all, wrong, like, don't I? I always call him Pressure. <laughs> Fresher. Fresher. You know what Pressure is? That's that's weed. I love some Pressure. Isn't it Fresher? I, I always say it like that, though. No. He knows. He knows. But yeah, um, yeah. Shout out, shout out, bro. That's big, bro. Yeah. Mad love. How did you get involved in that? Me, he seen me actually. I was on tour with 4-1. Oh. Yeah, I was on tour with 4-1. I did, like, Boston, Philly, Jersey, Connecticut, Rhode okay. Island tour with them. Yeah. Like, I didn't know that. It was outside. So every performance, I was performing right before 4-1. Like, there was a couple of artists performing, but I was like I was going on the stage right before them. Yeah. So they will always see my performance, and every performance I had to crowd like just going crazy. going crazy like yeah girls on the stage with me uh All right. j- jumping in the crowd with them like the crowd screaming one more one more after i'm done oh like, shit yeah like so they just seen like they seen they He's seen the hunger insane. that i had in me you feel me they he seen he seen what i was trying to get like he seen what i wanted yeah he just seen it in me like he seen me on stage my energy my stage presence like he just seen it all so Bro, me and bro connected one day after a show for me, and just after then, it was, it was up from yeah, there. Like after man. that, it was just been filming. Me. It, it was everything. Like it, he really, he really got you too. Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm telling lie, you, like, like you show mad love. That's really, it's like a big brother that, that I never had. You feel me? Like, and I have a brother, but like, it's like a, just a big brother that just he really be on, like, like showing me. The ins and out of everything, you feel me? Just giving me the source of this. So I, I appreciate everything he do for me always. You feel me? Like absolutely, it's real love. No, he Genuine. he is a straight like. When I tell you, I met I met him. I want to say, um, either last year or early this year, and and he was just like so nice, like uh, yeah. so. Ni- and I would just every event I would pop out to from then on, like so nice and. Like, um, what was it? I actually saw him open up for 50 Cent. And I, I took that video footage. He's like, K-Dev, I need that footage. <laughs> Send me that footage. And then, like, he hit me up and was like, yo, I need my man to get an interview by you. I was like, consider it done. Like, <laughs> let's book the day, the time. Like, he was really on my ass about it. And, that, and that's good people to have backing you. We yeah. always need somebody to give us that little push yeah, i mean we made, have he, it we've had it but it's it's very hard because we are on long island it takes us going to the city to get these things done to network with these people and and also like i'm a part of the fitted capital movement my ceo is a heavy hitter i have my own brand my own business but that fitted capital movement helps a little bit and my ceo is a ceo always said help use the brand to help build your brand so you have somebody who is a big name out here backing you and really believing in you and what you're doing so that's going to take you far too you know and it's good to have real genuine people on your side so he definitely keep me on my toes i'm glad that he set this up i'm glad that we're doing this so shout out to him shout out big Um, bro now I want to get into your music a little bit. Let's go, let's go. Because number one, now I had left I probably like 10 minutes before you went on stage. <laughs> 10 minutes. Nah. 
I'm mad at you right now. I know he's mad at me. I'm mad at you, bro. Because I missed it. And I don't have that song, and I didn't even hear it yet. Yeah, like, you were supposed to stay for like 10 more ten minutes. More like, minutes. just 10. I know. But, uh, but hold on. You were just supposed to stay for 10 more minutes at that Funk Flex <laughs> event. Chill. I was ready to have that, man. Play your music. Chill. <laughs> It's all right. We're from Long Island. We work it. It's okay. <laughs> funk Flex. I'm going to send you his music. Yeah, Funk. Fuck, funk. We Tap need, in. We need to heard? get him on Hot 97. You heard? Tap in, game. Tap in. But, so, you, that song you just performed at Past the Ox, you had the whole fucking place crazy. The I, Your management literally texted me after I left and she's like, they almost broke the floor. <laughs> Talk about that. What happened when they played your music? What happened? Wait, we if make it rock okay. Yeah, nah, that, yeah. Let them know. Mosh pit. Like, just straight like, yo, like, the song came on and the, there was like 200, 300 people in there and it Stop just went it. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, like everybody started bugging. Me, R two R Mo, J Dot Geek is on that track. Video coming out real, real mm-hmm. soon next Stay week. Tuned. You feel me? Stay tuned. But the energy on that track is just different. You feel me? Every time it come on, you just you can't not not want to dance. Yep. You feel me? Like you ha- you have to dance. Everybody got to dance when they come on. I like, need that track. That track it hit crazy, and then J Dot's energy on that track it just make it even go crazier. You feel me? Like. It's you're going to have to link with me with them because I don't know who they are. Yeah, yeah. I, psh, definitely. You're going to love them, too. They, they energy is, they have nothing but good energy, you feel me? So I'm going to definitely link yeah. y'all up. Maybe we'll get, I have a talk show. Maybe we can all have a talk show Not one day word. together. We, you all sit down and we chop it up Long so Island yeah. style, you we know? We can do that, facts. We can definitely do that. Um, also, your the song I've been promoting, um, I forgot what the name of it was. Um, the the one that I used for your promo. Um, I'm here. Yes. The, so that's a great song. That's actually before you even heard from Coco that that's how I found out about your ATV accident because you put it in that song. That's uh-huh. where I heard that from. No, 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 no. That's, uh, my ATV accident is in Phony. Yeah. Okay, so I got the songs wrong. I apologize. Yeah. Yes, so okay. it's phony. So I heard it in that song. Yeah, let me just tell you, I did my research on him. He's number one. Phony has 101k f- fucking views. Yeah, you know what's going on. I'm here has 103k views, you know what's going and on. and his IG following is 13.2k. So He's you working. might want to tap into him. He's got tap a big following. Down. Hit me up, y'all. Feel me? But uh, now getting to another song, and I didn't, I didn't hear it yet. But I know I want this track. You gotta check out what Rowdy Fucking Rebel. How did that happen? How did you get that? <laughs> How did that happen? And, and you brought him to Long Island, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, right to Bayshore. You know what I mean? Uh, he was outside. I forgot the studio name though. It's okay if, if you but don't remember. Yeah, sorry. we was outside. It was, it was a movie. Rowdy, I pulled up in there, and he the way we connected, shout out my boy Trill, Trill, linked us up, Trill messed with my music, you feel yeah. me, and Rowdy heard it, and we, we chopped it up, and he told me he was going to be in Long Island, so I was like, you know what, like, I'm going to go, you feel me, I'm going to yeah. go see what's up, I pulled up in there, it was him, a couple of his bros, I came with my guys, and I had a little beat, but he never heard the beat, I had a beat, and the crazy thing is, I knew I was going to make a song with him, but, like, it was, like, the day, like, when I knew it was going to happen, I knew it the night before it like happened. Like, you felt it. Like, no, like, I didn't oh. know I was going to make oh. anything with him until the night before. Like, like I didn't know he was going to be out there oh. until the night before. So, I, I didn't have nothing prepared, prepared nothing, nothing. Yeah, like, it was just, like, on the spot. On the spot. So, I'm like, yo... I'm I'm thinking I'm like yo like I'm mad nervous I'm like yo I can't go there just on some crazy so I started listening to I listened to like about 100 beats that night I swear like 100 beats and I found just one crazy beat stayed up all night finished my verse yeah. went to the studio the next day Roddy never heard the beat at all Oh, shit. Ever. And that makes people nerd, especially artists. They don't know what they're walking into. Like, yeah, like. But if you're that good of an artist, 
you could jump on any track. So that's what I'm saying. But he, yo, he jumped on that track. Yo, okay. I'm listening. Kay. I'm listening. Okay, nah, he he. We was in there, and the vibes. Was, once he heard me, I got in the booth, and he heard me. Like I seen him, I could see him from while I'm in the booth, and he's just going like he's, he's rocking back too. and forth. So I'm like. Ah right, yeah, he's jacking it like I right, bet. Like I'm now I'm going crazy and yeah. I'm, I'm in there like I right, yeah, he feeling it. I go out, my he go in, my producer like yo, yo he was fucking Bucky with that like it. heavy yeah. like. I'm like word, he's like yeah he fucking with that. Yo, he went in there and freestyled his whole verse and killed that shit from start to finish. I was I have like, to listen to it. I haven't. Listened. I was like yo, like that's I ain't gonna lie. That kind of star starstruck me. Like, I like, was going to only because like I never seen like like I I just never seen like I just that's it was memory, different. You feel me? It was a that's yeah. Gonna be one of the best memories. The, the You're memory gonna have so that, many yeah. more down the line, but so early in your career to have that happen that like that somebody just on the spot. Nah, yeah, I never seen nothing like that. Like he he ain't stop either. Like it was just that's one. Awesome. Yeah, I was just like yo like. And it came out all making everything made sense. Like, I was just like, yo, like, but that's why I was like, all right, yeah, I'm working with the bigger leagues now. Like, that's, mm. you feel me? Like, I'm like, all right, yeah. It just takes things like that, man. Like we said, pulling up to things and just like, it's going to happen. Like, if you trust yourself, you trust your process, you believe in yourself enough, and you just be at the right places at the right times and shake hands with people, things like that can happen for you. Like, I've made I've made shit like that happen for me my whole life, and I'm still continuing to do it. You're going to see way more of that happening in your career. But that is going to be something that you're going to remember for the rest of your life. And you have a song... To, and you have a song out there that is going to help you remember that day. For real. And I got to go listen to that track. Yeah, you got to tap in. But he, I'm telling you, he got numbers. I already read off the numbers, man. He's doing it out here. Working. Now, um, what I want to ask, going back to like your the beginning of your music career, what was the first song you ever wrote? And put out and like, what was it about? Do you remember? If you don't, it's okay. The first song, probably, I'm not the name, but what it was about, and mm-hmm. it was probably like a heartbreak or something. Like if a girl oh. probably broke my heart or something, and I probably made some little love song or something. Because back, like when I first started, I was really singing for real more. Like I was just singing. I wasn't really like rapping. I want to like, hear your singing. Vo- I've heard you rap, but I need to hear your singing voice. Nah, yeah, I could sing. I need to hear your singing. I voice. could sing a little song. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I was singing for real. But then, like as I got older, I learned how to like play with my flow and like change it up and like you feel me. And I liked that because I wanted to give people different, different styles of my music that I could, you feel me. So I liked that. I learned that early. So Smart. that was definitely good for me. Um. Now, uh, what you would call it? Well, uh, there's so much I wanted to ask you. I have things written down, but I mean, we got through a lot of it already. If we had five people watching this podcast show right now that you would love to work with, like, and they were watching this, who would those five people be? Like, if they were watching, I want to work with you, who would it be? Ooh. Cause you never know, you might have that opportunity. Like anybody, like anybody. Cause you know we got connections out here. They might see this podcast. You never know. Little baby. Uh huh. Friday. Friday. I don't know. Friday. You know who Friday is. Yeah. They know who Friday is. Okay, they know who He's Friday is. Friday. I gotta do my homework. Yeah, Fridays go crazy. Um. Ooh, this is five. Five. Definitely. Um. R two R Mo. I want to work. I want to keep working with him. I I worked with him previously. But I want to keep working with him. Um, Meek, Meek Mill, and probably like a Tata. Ta- ta, you feel me? Tata. Ta, he from the city. Four one, forty one. I think I know who that is. Yeah. Yeah. Tata go crazy. You know what I mean? So I probably want to get on something. If you're watching this, he want to work with you guys. So. 
you know, tap in. Um, so what do you have currently have going on right now? Like wh- what, what are we, what do we have in the works? Is there anything coming up soon? Oh yeah. I got it. music videos coming. Features coming. We, we going to be outside working more and more. So y'all going to see that all on the gram, YouTube, it's just gonna be a lot of. I got a lot of special stuff coming this month for y'all. Like there's other stuff I can't really say, but I got a lot of special stuff coming for y'all. So I just want y'all to stay tuned and really tap in and watch how I grow. You feel me? Stay tuned. Now, when you're not making music, when you're not doing this, what are you doing? Like, what do you, what do you do for yourself to like enjoy life? You know what I mean? Music. That's it. <laughs> You don't. Yo, I, I, I ain't gonna lie, Kay. Like, I don't even want to lie to you. Like, music right now is twenty my twenty four hours like a day. Me too. It's I, it's nothing else for me to do. Mm-hmm. Like, like I told you, I just want to win. Like, I, yep. I, the music is my heart, my soul. Like, once like, you start doing this, full like full the hunger time, gets so different. It's hu- the hunger is so different. <sighs> It's the grind really doesn't stop. Yeah. Like and it's, it's, it's a not a normal hour day nine thing. to five fucking job out here. And I tell people that all the time. Yeah. It's like you could get booked, you could pull up to like that. Like it's not a normal nine to you always have to make sure you're able to pop out to these things. You have to make sure you have the resources, the you know, the beats, like the studio time and everything. Like you and and it's so time consuming, but it's all going to pay off at the end of the day because not for nothing. I say this all the time. We work so hard right now, but we're working for that freedom, which is to, <laughs> to have that luxury of, no, OK, now we can hire other people to do this. We can do that. You know, we can go travel and we got people running our Instagram. Buying a lot of like, like. It, it, like it might look easy, but it do it's only hard. get harder. You heard? Like only the strong will survive in this real. shit. To be quite honest, for real, I have had people, on the, at least on my end, like you know, th- I've had people want to give up on me. I've had people, you know, yeah. oh, I don't fuck with her. Okay, bye. Doesn't mean it's gonna stop me. Just I gotta keep. Don't going, stop your you work, know? like. You as got long it. as you're willing to put the work in, it's it's, it's gonna keep going. It's gonna keep going at all times. You just gotta you just gotta really you put your to foot to the pedal. Consistent. You feel me? And, and, and I said this earlier today too. Um, at the end of the day, majority of what everybody wants out here is their music heard and the content. So as long as you're putting out great content and great music, how could you lose? How could you fail? You can't. can't. You can't. You yeah. literally can't. And I've been on my content. I've been on my content lately. It. You feel me, dude? Yeah. You got the numbers to show for it. And I, like I said, I'm so happy to have you down here. I'm so happy to have another a Long Island oh, artist. Dad. I want to see my Long Island people <laughs> come up, man. I really do because oh, we were slept on for so long. We really were. Nah, for real though. That's and, what that, I just want. I want to see us all win. You feel I me? I do too. I and really do. And it's po- it's all the way possible. Positive. It's like like no animosity. Can, I'm not trying to steal the people you working with. I'm not trying to you know do this that. I, I want to work with everybody. I want to break bread because honestly, there is so much money to be made in this industry. Yeah. We could all have our hands in a pot. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> if, if we, we all just, work together we and work stop together. being so egotistical. Me? No, that's a big thing for Long Island. We are very about our egos, and we need to get off of that. Yeah. That would stop so much problems out here. But it takes us to be the ones to talk about A lot about of people it. can't swallow their pride. Mm-hmm. You feel and me? A lot of people can't just say, you know what, I'm going to be the grown man or grown woman and Go hit this person up, even if I don't like them. But I know they still got good music. Yeah. You feel me? A lot of people can't swallow their pride and do that. So, But that's the thing. A lot of people, I, for me, I feel like I'm very mature for my age. So you like, are. I could see that. Yeah. I just, if we had a problem, listen, you feel me? Like, it's business. It's business. And you don't if fuck the with business me. is right, then it's right. You feel me? You so gonna fuck you with me? Let's work. It. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, all right. I got like, Two more questions for you. Um, 
where do you see yourself in the next five to ten? Do you still be, plan on being on Long Island? Where do you see your music? Do you maybe want to dabble in, like, films or acting? Like, where do you see yourself in the next five to ten years? You're, you're 19, so, what, that would be 29 in ten years. Yeah. 30, my yeah. age. So <laughs> what, what do you think you're going to be doing at yeah. my age? Woo! Oh, I fucking just said my age. Damn ah, it. Oh, well, it's we a, got both of ours now. You got both <laughs> nah, of ours. but. We're even. Honestly, I don't really, I just, I know I'm going to still be doing music, definitely. I just hope wherever I'm at, I got my family in a good position and my, my brothers in a good position to, like, I just want us all to be together and winning, you feel me, like. If we're on Long Island still, if even if we're not on Long Island, it's still always big money Long Island. Like, Yay, you already know that. Like, big money Long <laughs> like, Island. Like, wherever we go, it's big money Long, Long Island. Island. That's where I'm from, you heard. But, like, I definitely want to be in a good position to just take care of my family and my friends and, and just see people not stress over so much stuff that they got to go through in life, you feel me? And I know I could do it because I'm working. So mm-hmm. it's like if I keep working and working and working and – get to where I got to get to, it's going to be golden for me. You feel me? It's that's why I fuck with you because right. like I, I'm telling you, that's that's exactly why I'm doing this and exactly why, you know, I'm in You this. see when I texted you, I said, yo, I, I told you, I wanted them to tell me I'm coming here because, yo, yeah. I fuck with k yo. Her yeah. energy is crazy all the time. We always outside. It's always love. She and we're so never even synchronized. Like, okay, what are you doing today? Like, <laughs> and it's just like we pull up and hey, what yeah, are you doing? For real. So like, we really be outside like that. We're really working together, and you know that that's being from Long Island. You gotta help your people. And since day one, since I've met you, I've seen that you've been a hardworking person. I've seen that you've been consistent, and I'm definitely tap. I need the music. I need all that music, (laughs) but, but I really do fuck with you and anything you ever need from me, you know, don't hesitate to ask. I got I you. That. You got a great team behind you. You're a Vice great versa, person. you heard? Right. Same thing. I got you. If you need me, hit me up. I got you, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is the queen of the trap hot. I want you to let them know all the outlets that they can find you. Everything. Let's go, let's go. It's your boy RTM Sway. You know the vibes. We just did the best podcast ever yeah. with K Dev. Y'all can find me, me on Instagram, the real Sway underscore. Y'all can find me on YouTube, RTM Sway. Y'all can find me everywhere on all platforms. I G T H E R E A L S W A Y Y underscore. Shout out all the Long Island artists. Shout out everybody from the towns. One one seven two two, and we out. Let's go, let's go. Bow. Peace out.